So you're okay before dinner. I am surprised that you are still stretched out here. Urban planters and dreamers at the outskirts of incomplete promises. Urban planters and dreamers at the outskirts of inconsistent, inconvenient promises. Earthquake like fury and fire and floods that seems to rest only at ease on the summerland of someone's flesh. Your flesh, child of Nablus. Your flesh, child of Janine. Your flesh, child of Ramallah. Your flesh, child of Hazar. You, the promised one, where na onza kale onditi tutuzeka, where na otembisi where you always the promised one, always the promised one. So you can clap. I'm joking. <laughs> that was a joke. Alva Tongba Mudim. So so I was writing Palestine poems way before I went. Because growing up in South Africa in a township, you kind of knew that there were people who lived like you. And I knew that there were people who lived like me. My grandmother told me about those people, the people of Palestine. And in 2006 or seven while bringing out a child into this earth. I wrote a poem to another woman in Palestine who I never met, but I imagined her. And her name is Zahra of Palestine. I speak to alive spirits who arrive on silence to speak to the hushness that strangles your laughter. On the walls of pain, the walls of faith, the walls of rain that never comes. I speak to decades and checkpoints that swallow our yet to live sons and daughters who explode from soundless episodes of faith and pain and rain that never comes. I speak to spirits that unfurl a vision that is unblurred. Spirit sounds echoing the contours of every life and every unfading shadow. Okay, so, I, you didn't have to clap. Yes, good. I like it there. Sounds nice. So, I'm about to leave the stage so that you can eat dinner. So, in 2013, I was commissioned by the UN to write this poem for the International Day of Happiness. That was the hardest thing I ever did. I was like, wow, happiness. So many people are so unhappy. And I was just thinking about the children of Gaza and how scared by the shelling and, you know, not knowing if mommy or daddy is coming home or if they are coming home, if somebody's going to shoot them in the head. So I wrote this. I wish you whole as words water a flower beneath the yellow rays of yearning. Beyond the reach of growling pains, I wish you inviolable dreams flourishing under a silent and attentive gaze of the moon. I wish you a sky open enough and ready for thoughts of light. Simple earthly delights pouring in and pouring out, pouring in and pouring out of this moment. I wish you light, child of Hazel. 
I wish you inviolable dreams. I wish you alive, playing a game of cards in the unfolding pathway of unyielding wings. You, perhaps picking shells along the beach with your brother, on the roof of your home, feeding doves, and maybe one day fitting your wedding gown, laughing loud at your father's funny stories. Happy, harvesting melodies, happy, harvesting memories, happy, harvesting olives, and all the sweet of time. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner. Kakhisto, you can have your microphone.